right, you laddies, my name is Jack Guy, and welcome to a game called PC Building Simulator. This could go either horribly well or horribly wrong. Actually, there's very slim chance of it going horribly well, even though that, that sounds like uh, a contradiction of itself. But this is a game, it's very, 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 very early on, by the way, I should mention that. That's only a thing that I found on itch.io when I was when I was browsing around. It was the top, like, trending game there at the time, so I thought, hey, this might be cool because I often get, like, asked constantly what type of computer I have. I constantly get asked what type of stuff is in my computer and how I put it together because I, I build all my own computers for doing YouTube stuff, so then everyone thinks that they have to build their own computer to do YouTube stuff. And then they need to know what's in it, and I get questions about it constantly, all the time, about the type of stuff that goes into a computer, and then people asking if it's complex. It's not that hard. It's not that hard to do. Once you know the bits that actually need to go into a computer, it's kind of like building Lego. So, I, I wanted to see if this game would be accurate as what it be. Um, press E to change project. What would I change it to? Um, so, there's a lot of stuff that's missing and a lot of stuff that don't, doesn't really work well yet. I can rotate my computer if I want. This is the shop over here. I have two grand of a balance. So, I can put in some stuff. Um, oh, God. There's lots of shit. Oh, there's no cases, really. And we only have basic shit, basic memory, basic storage, motherboards and everything. So... It's not going to be completely, perfectly accurate as to what's going on because there's a lot of options out there when you're building a PC, uh, building a PC. Um, and that's what confuses a lot of people is that they think that there's too many options and then they don't know what they're doing and they're wondering if they're making everything and everything's going wrong. Um, but it's not that hard. So first things first. Well, normally you'd put in your motherboard, but we don't even have like standoffs or anything in my mother. Miscellaneous. Standoffs. Let's put them in. The standoffs, I don't know what kind of motherboard this is going to be, so I'm going to put in all the standoffs. Standoffs are the thing that your your motherboard sits on. Your motherboard then will sit on them and the screws go in over your motherboard and down onto this. Good times. Any of you who know how to build computers will be like sitting there going, what the fuck? Uh, right, what else actually has to go into it? Because, I don't know, scout back panels, side panels. Okay, so a lot of these things could be case specific, so I don't know about that. Drive covers, thermal paste. Uh don't need thermal paste yet. All items, no. Yeah, see, there's only like one graphics card and one motherboard, so... Install motherboard! There we go! Yes! Off to a fucking flying start! Does that little CPU slot look like a t-shirt? Like a little symbol for a t-shirt? So, what you're going to put in here, your CPU goes in here. I'm going to, I'm going to make this video addressed at people who don't know anything at all about computers. And I have... I have, a, I have a decent understanding of how to build computers, and I've built many a computer in my time. Um, which a lot of people, for some reason, seem to find surprising. So, this is where your CPU goes, this is where your RAM goes, this is your memory, and they're, they're color-coded. So if you put in one in the blue, you have to put the other one in the other blue, you don't put them next to each other. Um, unless you put in four, and then you match, like, two for two. You get me? You know what I'm doing? These are all heat sinks. These are just drawing heat away from the motherboard and away from your CPU and everything. These are PCI slots. This one here is where your graphics card goes. And you can probably put in an SLI or a... Oh god, what's the AMD version called? The ATI Radeon Bridge? I forget what it's called. Where you bridge two GPUs together, and then these are the little flaps that you pull your GPU out. It's all very nice and dandy. And then these are just miscellaneous PCI slots. Jeez, this has like a third one. We fucking try SLI up in this. This is a really good motherboard. Actually, I forgot to check which one it is. For some reason I have- oh wait, can I buy more motherboards? No, there's just a P8, P67. Um, right, fair enough. This here is just where your power goes in from your power supply. It comes in around the back. Um, this is where your SATA cables go. These are all miscellaneous motherboard items like your lights and your- I don't know, your fucking hard drive thing, your power switches, that, that kind of stuff. This is your CMOS battery, and these then are just random PCI slots that you can put, like, you can put, like, sound cards into them, you can put, well, you don't, we don't have a PCI Express slot, which would normally be one of these tiny ones. It's like one of these, but smaller, where you'd put in, like, like, I don't know, like my internal Elgato capture card is in there. Uh, right, so what we, what should we put in next? I'm trying to think, we can literally put in fucking anything, really, but I'm trying to think, in terms of logistics, I guess we could put in the CPU next. Um, let's put in our dummy CPU. Gotta love that dummy CPU. You take up the latch, and this is the thing. Whenever you're putting in your CPU, you gotta be careful that it's going in the right way. The CPU normally has this little yellow arrow down on it. That tells you that it's going in the right place. You'll match it up on the motherboard, you'll put it down, 
And then Bob's your uncle because oh, they have all these little teeny tiny pins all along the bottom of them that coalesce with your your motherboard. And if you put them in wrong, you'll bend those pins. You completely fuck the CPU. Um, and you don't want to do that because CPUs are fucking expensive. What do we got? We got an Intel. Yeah, we do. Um, it's dummy CPU, so I don't know what it is. There's an i7 in this in my computer. There's an i7-4770K, and then in my other one downstairs, I can't remember what's in it. Cause I have one for YouTubing and then one just for general gaming in my in my main room um, Where I play PC games outside of YouTube And then this is the part that scares everyone When you're putting the flap back down because it sits down And then putting this pin down You really have to like push this thing down to make sure the CPU stays in place And then latch it in underneath And if you do that And you have it in the wrong place That's what bends all your pins but if, if you're afraid that it's not in the right place, bending that down, you're like, that's too much pressure. That's too much pressure. There's, I did something wrong. So don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to put a little more pressure into it. And then you'll get it good. And then you get it going. Um, I guess we can put a RAM in next. Uh, RAM is pretty pretty easy to put in. We already have DDR3. Can I, can I, can I put you in? Didn't I, didn't I select you? Oh, I actually have to pull off all the pins? Ah! This game is more complex than I gave it credit for. I wonder do I have to wire up the entire fucking thing? I highly doubt it. Uh, install RAM. There. And then install RAM. There. I guess I could just put all the RAM in if I want to. Now the RAM is easy. Because when you're putting it in, it only goes in one way. The color co coordinated thing is something to keep in mind of. If you have four, it doesn't really matter. Uh, four identical ones, that is. Um, but it, when you're putting it in, it only goes in one way, and then it just slots in, and the things clip up on their own. It's the easiest thing in your PC to put in. The hardest thing I'd say to put in, uh, well, your CPU, because it costs a lot, and it's basically the brains of your entire computer. Uh, so it's kind of scary putting that in, but I'd say wiring stuff is the scariest part, and the part that a lot of people tend to freak out about. Um, we're gonna put in our GPU next. What, what else do we have? Storage, power supplies, cases, cooling. Cooling is actually a thing. We need to put in a stock cooler onto the CPU. It's fucking stock cooler. It's so ugly looking. I hate stock coolers. They're the fucking worst. Especially these Intel ones. Do I not have to? Do I have to put down these? No. These are four pins. Oh shit! Well, I can't fucking take it off now. I didn't put any thermal paste on the CPU. It doesn't matter. It's not the end of the world because there's normally thermal paste that goes on the bottom of the. The cooler, anyway, you just take off a little plastic thing or a little strip or something, you put it down. Thermal paste is something that goes between your cooler and your, your CPU, because if the cooler it normally has a copper plate on it, if that goes straight onto your CPU, then it's not going to draw heat away from it efficiently. So what thermal paste does, you put a little tiny pea-sized blob on it, there's a lot of debate on how, how to actually apply this stuff properly. Um, you put it down, and then you close down your, your cooler down with these pins, and then... Ugh, it draws heat from the CPU to the cooler more efficiently than if you just had direct metal to metal connection So that that's important if you don't have that in you probably get really high CPU temperatures uh, And that's not good because your CPU then will overheat and burn out everything um, What next are you bored yet? I'm not I'm having a fascinating time because I haven't put together a computer in ages And when I move soon, I'm gonna have to do it and I can't fucking wait because it's gonna be really fun uh, I guess we could unlock all these see I'm not familiar with this case I don't know what this is, and every case is different, so sometimes it takes takes a long time. Sometimes it takes a quesadilla. Um, GPU next. GPU, normally your top slot is your most efficient slot. It's like a... Jesus Christ, that's a fat GPU. The fuck? Okay, I guess I could put in a second one if I want to. Is that going in on the, the white one there? Because normally your top PCI slot is the one you put in your main GPU into. It, it's because some motherboards have a PCI a PCI slot that's times 16 and that's that's like the bandwidth actually don't quote me on this I don't know the actual computer Specifications for this or what it actually does. I don't know the actual machinations of a computer I just know where stuff goes and what it does But it's a times 16 slot, which I think is the bandwidth of the draw on your GPU and then sometimes the 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 PCI slot underneath it is like a times three or a times eight or something like that. Again, don't quote me on the numbers. Um, so if you're putting in an SL SLI, it, your main GPU goes into the X16 one. And then if you have a really good motherboard, actually, because I've never done SLI, which is just, uh, oh, I forgot what it actually stands for. It's just putting two GPUs together, then you put a band across the top of them that connects them, and then you basically have double the processing power for your graphics. Fuck it, we put in two. 
Um, it normally goes across down over here, the, this pin here. And then you merge them together. Which, I, ca I can't remember, I don't know if any GP or any motherboards actually do two 16 slots. I think some really, really expensive ones might. And then you basically have the full draw of power out of both of your GPUs and they should work together very, very well. Um, and then, okay, so these are like, these are an, uh, an 8 and a 6 slot. So, these require a lot of power, so hopefully... Wait, what kind of power do we have? A power supply. We have a 500 watt power supply? That's not... That, that'll run it! But once it gets up and starts actually running any games, that's not strong enough. Especially for the size of these GPUs and the amount of pins that they have. We're gonna need like a fucking thousand watts power supply. Wait, what's in mine? I forget what's in mine. I think there's a... I think there's a 900 in this one and I think there's a... A thousand watt in the one downstairs. It's fascinating! I love putting computers together, they're so fucking cool. Uh, right, what else do we actually have? Graphics cards, motherboards, memory, storage. I mean, I guess we could put in our hard drives. Cooling. Yeah, I need some miscellaneous scout back panel. Okay, side panel, that, that should go on the side and the back. Um, and the thing I love about my case, it's a Corsair Air 540. Um, I love my case because it's a cube. And normally what happens, okay, I'm gonna talk about this. Man, I just love gushing over computers. Because what's gonna happen now is that the power supply goes in down here on this one, and then all your cables are gonna go out through this. And then they're gonna come back out through these ones here, these slots and holes. But what my power supply does is that there's two chambers in it. It has a chamber here and a chamber here, which is a cable side where your power supply and some of your hard drives go. And then it also has the electronic side. So all the stuff that needs cooling goes in here. And all your cables are in the back except for the very little part of them that comes out the front that needs to connect. Which I love because it keeps everything super clean, but also it makes sure that no cables get in the way of airflow because airflow is very important. Um, and the computer that I have has a, a liquid cooler on the CPU. It's not full liquid cooled, it's just one of those ones that you can get on, that you put in here and has two pipes that go up to a radiator and then the fans attached to the radiator to push all that hot air out. Are you with me so far? For those of you who don't know how to actually make a computer, this probably isn't helping all that much, especially because there's only one type of very many things in this. But I think the reason I wanted to play this game was just because I wanted to. <laughs> but also because I think if this game gets a lot of, like, traction and if it, it progresses along and they put in a lot of stuff into it, it could be a very good resource for putting in stuff and, like, troubleshooting the parts. Like, if you want to build a PC yourself, you start up this game, you get all the parts that you've picked yourself that you think are going to work, put them into your PC here, figure out how it actually works and put it together here as a mock-up so you kind of know what you're doing when it arrives but also you can get to see the compatibility with everything which I think would be a really cool thing if they did that in this game um so Barracuda that's your your hard drive there I don't really know what else I could put in right now I mean a fucking DVD drive I guess up there in the top <laughs> like <laughs> I have I have a disk drive in this computer here I don't even use disks anymore I, I, I don't even have one in the one downstairs because everything that I download and use is all digital now. Um, okay, and the hard drives all go in here. We can put a lot of hard drives in this one. Can we not put them in this? No? We ran out of space? So we have four hard drives here. Jesus Christ, what size are these? Um, they better be like two terabytes each. Depending on how much we're actually going to work with. Um, thermal paste, yeah, I forgot to put that on. My bad. Uh, a simple fan. Do I actually have to put them in the front? I don't know if I can even pop like the front off because there's a grill here, a dust cover, which I love about my PC as well. All the stuff just snaps off and everything's magnetic. I I mean, I guess I could put a fan there. I, I need to put one there anyways, an exhaust. Can I not put them in here? Was I supposed to take this stuff off first? Okay. Ah, shit. I don't know if I should put one there. I guess I could. This is not an optimal place for one. I have always wanted a PC case that's, uh, vertical. Because this is all horizontal, which, to me, has always been a terrible design. Because GPUs these days are getting very fucking heavy. They're getting very big and very heavy, and there's not a lot of room back here for them. Or anything like that. And some, if you have a bad motherboard, the motherboard I had is actually, is actually pretty good. Because it, it sits stuff in, and it's solid, and it doesn't wiggle, it doesn't move, it doesn't do anything. But a lot of cheaper motherboards will actually start bending with the weight of the GPUs. So I have wanted to try out a vertical one, which basically takes this and turns it counterclockwise. So all your GPUs are facing up, because hot air rises, so you want all your air to go out the top anyway. 
Whereas here, it's like air's coming in here, it's passing everything, and then it's going out here and out the top. Oh yeah, I guess we could install some fans up here. Can I install a second one? Come on! What kind of fucking cheap ass case is this? Don't cheap out in your case. It's a very important part of your system because airflow is very important. Um, so a vertical case kind of, I don't know, I've always wanted to try it out because it has like three fans on the bottom. Um, and then all the air just goes right past everything. And all the hot air goes out the top and the exhausts are all going out the top. So, But a lot of those cases are actually pretty small and it comes into question like a lot of the venting that goes on at the bottom of them because they, sit, they have to sit in the ground. So I don't know, my case is actually pretty cool because you can lay it on its back. But it kind of blocks the, the power supply. Um, speaking of which, nice segue, the power supply goes in here. Is, is that all? Can I not, do I not like cable anything? I mean that's fucking great if I don't have to because that's, that's the most tedious part. And I don't want to do that. Press E to change project. I don't want to change my project. Um, and this is a little weird because there's no like back plate on the CPU. This is supposed to be, there's a hole here. That you're supposed to be able to see the back of your CPU, because if you install an aftermarket cooler that doesn't come with your CPU, then you, there's screw holes for all the stuff back here. So, I, I guess I'm done. I put in the graphics card, I put in the CPU, I put in the motherboard, I put in the memory, I put in the storage, this power supply, the case, whatever. I mean, yeah, I can do this. That's the back panel, and then the side panel goes here. I guess I could put some more fans on. Drive cover. Wait. So stuff that I'm putting in is actually getting crossed off, so... I didn't put in everything perfectly. I mean, whatever. Because this is usually the stuff that's like, oh yeah, this thing, and then you put it on after. I mean, another DVD drive I could put in? A drive cover? No. I, why? No thanks. I'm, I'm good. Um, and thermal paste. So... All the stuff that I missed, not really gonna stop your computer from working. And then, oh wait, it's all, oh, there we go. Blocks up these, oh, okay. And then, the beautiful zen moment of it all, that you've been waiting for all this time, that you were absolutely fucking petrified of, is that you reach over to the top of your case, and hit that power button. And you hope, you pray to the computer gods, that everything works and turns on, and everything's fine, and everything works. First time I did that, Everything actually worked, and I was just like, I wanted to jizz all over the computer that I had built. Because it just felt so good. Can I put in any simple fans on the side of this? There's room for more fans. It feels good. It feels good to make another computer. And then you have to install Windows, and then it fucking takes another week and a half to actually get everything up and running. Then you have to install all the drivers for everything. Install the drivers for your fucking... <laughs> for your GPU. Anything else you have installed in the PCI slots? I didn't wire any of this. I don't know if you actually can or if they're actually going to put that in. But again, this game is super early on. Oh, can I actually... Oh, maybe I just didn't have enough of them. Oh, maybe I could have put in another GPU, but I didn't have another one. Let's see. I wonder, can I put on the simple fans now? No. Okay, whatever. So that's building a computer. Hopefully you learned at least something about this. If anything, it was just an excuse for me to gush on about stuff and make me sound smart for 20 minutes. <laughs> but I, I do, I love building computers. And I love the fact that some other people come to me and ask me for advice and knowledge about computers. Because it makes me feel like I actually know something about something. I mean, and that's the thing. Because I'm smart about a lot of things. But it, it doesn't often come through in my videos. And then a lot of people think that I'm just dumb. Which is not really true. I mean, putting together a computer, anyone who's put together computers knows that this stuff isn't like super complex, but when you do it, it's like, yeah, yeah, I built that. And then people who don't put computers together are like, you did it yourself? How did you do that? Like, it's not that hard. You just watch a few YouTube tutorials and then you're good. <laughs> but I just find computers fascinating. I like learning why stuff does stuff, why stuff does different things. And I think there was actually a button that I could have pressed. I think I could have pressed Q on certain items. Can I start a new one? I want to change the project and start a new one because I want to figure out... I, could, I think I could have pressed Q on different things and it would have told me what they did. Which again is a really helpful, useful thing. It tells you like how the CPU works and how the GPU works and how the RAM works and how they all pull and draw information to each other and how it all coalesces together and makes the whole system run and why they're all vital for each other. Which I think is pretty cool. Um, sorry if I missed some things, like putting in the thermal paste and I forgot, maybe you can actually wire stuff up. Or if you can actually 
dismantle this again and fix stuff. I don't know. I just wanted to show a basic for what it is. Um, so go, dick around with it. See if you can remember any of the stuff offhand. Even though I kind of highlight some of the stuff for you. But I think it's a... I, as I said, if they continue this game and they make it as complex as it needs to be to build a computer, I think that would be really cool. Especially the compatibility side of things. Like you put all your stuff in and then you hit a button and you can like uh, hook, hook, hook it up to this. And then imagine like a VR version of this. That would be really cool. I would love a game like that. Just to get in and dick around with different cases, different compatibilities, see if they work. I mean, you don't need to install Windows or anything on them. I don't know. Was this fun to watch at all? I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face! Like a boss! And I face all around. Whoopish! Whoopish! Thank you guys, now we'll see all you dudes! Frank is an asshole, and he has a short fuse. I'm probably trying not to push him off. Hey, Frank, let me be Frank. That was the fucking shit and the tits. That made me feel great. Oh, God, make me puke on the floor. Now I just need a game going over how to set up YouTube stuff. Like cameras and lights and microphones and desktop audio. Ah, I love technology. I love electronics.